right, today we are doing a micro webinar for setting up Google Optimize. We're going to use the Trust Insights website because well, we want to make sure that uh, we're testing all the important things like any data-driven company should be. Uh, before you begin, make sure that you turn off all your ad blockers and you trust the Optimize site. Otherwise, Optimize will exhibit strange behaviors. This is the basic container. Let's start by creating an experience. We're going to call this homepage uh, conversion tests. We're going to do a A B test here. So we're going to choose a, a bunch of different uh, variations. And the page we're going to test, of course, is the home page itself. Create this. Now you need to make sure you have the optimize uh, Chrome plugin installed. If you don't, this will not work particularly well. Let's link to our Google Analytics view. We are in Google Analytics, uh, the all website data. This will connect to our goals. Our objective is to choose from a list, and you can see all the thank you, all the, the typical goals you have in Google Analytics. So for us, uh, let's make sure we get people signing up on the contact form, reaching out and contacting us. And the premise is uh, changing UI elements should increase conversions. Uh, that is a good, solid, basic test objective. We're going to choose some targeting. We want 100% of people coming to the home page to be tested. Uh, you can optionally reduce this. You can do all sorts of other things, but for right now, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit Save so far. Now let's create some variations. Uh, let's go and create uh, a yellow button. Well, actually, let's stop for a second. Let's go to the Trust Insights home page. When you look at your web page to decide what to test. There's a couple of different things you can test. Uh, my recommendation is that you look at your home page um, and you step back, take a like literally take five or six steps back and look at your screen across the side of the room and look at the most prominent elements of the interface. In this case, uh, this is what loads above the fold. So there's really three or four different things we can test here. There's the image itself. Uh, there is the wording, the language here. There is a button here. And you can see there's a little mouse over. And so you want to test the stuff that's most obvious and prominent because those are the things that people are going to react to. So uh, take a look at any home page and then decide what are the most prominent interface elements and then choose to test those things. That's the that's a good starting point. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a yellow button. Uh, we want to do, maybe we'll do a red button for fun. Uh, let's do a blue button. Now, if we want to test more than one thing at a time, we'd do a multivariate test where we'd be testing things like the color of the button and uh, and maybe the background text. In fact, that might, actu might actually be the worst thing in the world to do. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's trash this and discard. And let's create a homepage multivariate. Same exact setup. You have section A, section B. So this will be buttons. This will be background text. Let's do, of course, link into our view. <clears throat> Whoops, wrong view. And let's set our goal. Our goal will be contact form fills. Testing UI elements to increase conversions. Verify our targeting is all set. Save this so far. And now section A, let's create a variation. This will be uh, background box color blue. And let's do background box yellow. Let's do button blue. Let's do button yellow. OK. Now we need to go and actually edit these things. So save and continue. We are in home page multivariate. You'll see that your website will actually load up here. And then the optimize editor, if you've got the Chrome uh, thing installed, the optimize editor will turn on. So here's our container. We're going to edit this element. And we want this element's color to be, uh, let's see, define typography, background. So this is, you can notice it tells you, if you name your variations intelligently, you'll see them up here. Uh, let's go. This is background box blue. Let's go with uh, eh, that's a little bit darker. 
take this down, take that down, and then take that down. There we go. That's a nice blue. I'm going to hit save on that. And then let's go ahead and let's see, this is a standard view. You can test, by the way. You can see there's, there's the opportunity to do mobile stuff there. Uh, all right. Let's see. Do, do, do. There used to be a way to switch out within the interface, but I guess not. And now I do background box yellow. There's our container div. Our background color is going to be yellow is red and green combined. That's kind of a sickly yellow. There. That's not too bad. Uh, there. Save that. Now we go back to our chooser, and now we do button colors. Choose our button color there. We've got a nice solid background of zero there. So let's do our button blue. our button yellow. Hit done. So now I've got our variations. And what this is going to do is going to keep the originals for our control. There's nine total combinations. If you click on combinations, you can see it does all of the combinations for you, which if you're going to test more than one element is a brain saver. If you don't do that, it gets really, really, really ugly. <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and this looks all good. We've got our goal we, and let's start the experiment. At this point, the optimization test is done and you can run multiple optimization tests per website. It's a very bad idea to run it on more than, on more than one on a page. But if we wanted to, for example, if we go to the blog, uh, we could test on any of the blog pages, uh, things along the, the right hand side. But that's the basic process for setting up a multivariate test and an A-B test as well. You use an A-B test to test one set of variations. So you could do red, green, blue, yellow buttons, etc. But if you want to test more than one thing at a time, you absolutely must use multivariate instead. Here's the other thing that's kind of a catch with Optimize. It relies on traffic. The more traffic you have, the the better the test will go. So if you pick some obscure page on your website that nobody looks at, guess what? It's gonna The test is probably going to fail, uh, or at the very least will take forever in a day. Use the highest traffic pages, and you can find that in Google Analytics by going in and looking into under the behavior section, site content, what page gets the most traffic. That's the best place to start your testing to in order to get the test to include. If you want to juice the results, meaning get them faster, uh, you should be running advertising to the home page of your website. Normally, that's a really bad idea because oh, your home page is probably not a focused landing page. But if you want traffic for testing purposes, you can run a general ad campaign, Facebook, you know, whatever, uh, to get more traffic to the site uh, in order to make your test go a little bit faster. But... Um, Make sure that you are you know that you're doing it explicitly for that reason and no other reason, and don't expect like massive conversions or things because you're, you're testing essentially UI stuff. So that's the process. Try it out on your own. Optimize is free of financial cost. You just have to spend some time with the interface and uh, make sure that you've got all the widgets and stuff installed in your browser and on your website first. It requires Google Tag Manager. Thanks for watching, and talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.